Hello, hello. If you can hear my voice and uh, see my screen, definitely type in the uh, Q&A. Let me know that we are all good here. We're going to get rocking and rolling here in just a moment. Uh, if you're just hopping on, definitely come out and uh, say what's up in the Q&A. Let me know where you're watching from, and I'll give you a quick shout out on uh, this webinar. Um, just let me know you can hear my voice and uh, see my screen. It looks like everything is good on my end, but I want to make sure that you all can actually uh, see my screen and hear my voice. So if you just come out in the Q&A and uh, say what's up, I will give you a shout out and that'll let me know that you can actually hear my voice and see my screen. All right, super excited to be here this afternoon or this evening rather uh, to share with you some tips on how to turn Facebook uh, comments into loyal and buying customers without being pushy uh, and salesy. Awesome. Great to see you, uh, Laurie. Great to have you on. If you're just coming on, definitely come out and say what's up. We'll get rocking and rolling here in just a moment. Today's topic is how to, how to turn Facebook comments into loyal and buying customers without being pushy and sales. I'm going to share with you my five-step simple formula to convert comments into customers. All right. If you're just hopping on, definitely come out and say what's up. I'll give you a quick uh, shout out and we'll get rocking and rolling here in just a moment. Cool beans. Awesome. Awesome. Great to have you on. I think that's uh, Tara. Cool. Cool. Great to have you on, Tara. All righty. Um, go ahead and uh, check my messages. Make sure no one has any trouble getting on. Uh, there is a, on this uh, webinar on air platform for higher resolution, there is on the right hand side, bottom right hand corner, there's a gear that you can click to um, uh, increase the resolution. Uh, it's going to increase to the highest level that your computer and your internet connection can handle. So definitely go ahead and do that so you can see the uh, slides and some of the examples um, uh, very clearly. All right, so we are rock and rolling. Let's um, you know get get this party started. All right, cool beans. Let me just get a recording going. Awesome. Cool. So. Good evening. Welcome to tonight's webinar. We're going to be sharing with you how to turn Facebook comments into loyal and buying customers without, you know, being pushy, salesy. This is going to be my five-step simple formula to convert comments into customers. Before we get started, I got a couple questions for you, right? Just curious, you know, how would it feel if you were able to craft a Facebook status update that generated at a minimum five leads for you each and every day. Just type a comment in the, the comments. Let me know, how would that make you feel if you could generate you know, five, a minimum of five leads per day just from a Facebook status update? I'm seeing, all right. And there's a little delay here. Amazing, awesome, life-changing, okay. Awesome, awesome. Keep the comments coming. I'll keep going, but keep the comments coming. We'll definitely, uh, you know, see those amazing, awesome. How would it feel if you knew exactly what to say to people who commented so they actually responded to you and wanted to buy from you? How would it make you feel? I'm seeing priceless, amazing, awesome, cool, cool. Just curious, what if you were able to do all of this without being weird, pushy, salesy, or feeling like a used car salesman? What would that be worth to you, right? What would they worth to you? Priceless, amazing, awesome, incredible, life-changing, life-altering, awesome, awesome, awesome. That's great stuff. Well, here's the new, the good news. The good, good news is it's possible. I feel like a professional. Love it, Tara. Love it. Um, it is possible, even if you don't have any current, if you, if you currently don't have any results uh, or success. You can use my five-step simple formula to turn Facebook comments into loyal and buying customers and generate leads for your business. Very, very powerful stuff that I'm going to share with you this uh, this evening. So, just a little bit about me. You know why you should listen to me and who I am. Uh, my name is Antonio Thompson, and you know I'm from uh, Brooklyn, New York. Anybody from Brooklyn, New York, or New York in the house? Um, 
I actually started building uh, a network marketing business uh, in 2013. Uh, got two degrees, well, three degrees, a bachelor's degree and two master's degrees from uh, New York University and um, Columbia, University, Columbia University. And you know, I found the network marketing home business industry uh, in 2013, but I, I struggled for my first year and a half, right? I did all the things that my, my upline sponsor told me to do. Um, clearly, I came to the industry with no prior marketing or business experience, uh, so I just followed the instructions. You know, make my list of a hundred people. You know, contact my friends and family. Um, you know, uh, invite them to the conference calls, webinars, and meetings. You know, copy and post uh, the same messages over and over again on social media, in Facebook groups, on my profile, and and I struggled. You know, nothing nothing worked, and, and, and I was got. Can you relate to that? Can you relate to being you know, frustrated and, you know, uh, just like not um, feeling good about what you're doing because you're not getting results, right? Everything you're doing, you know, your upline has told you to do and they said, hey, keep doing the same thing. You know, your, your breakthrough is coming. Can you all relate to that? I'm saying absolutely, I can relate to that. Cool. Yep. Awesome. And so, you know, frustrated by my lack of results, I nearly quit uh, the industry entirely in my first year. And I say, thankfully, my company closed because it was a blessing uh, in disguise. When my company closed, I actually started to uh, jump on webinars like this and trainings and actually learn how to market uh, and build a business online. And so things started to change, right? So I invested in my education. I learned how to effectively market online and how to effectively turn people who commented and engaged with my post into business partners, customers, and even coaching clients. And I'm going to share with you, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you the exact uh, status update that allowed me to um, uh, sponsor or recruit two people into my business in four days and bring on three new coaching clients into my business in, as, in, as, in four days. So if you stick around to the end, you'll actually will get to, to see that. Um, and so, you know, my life now is a little bit different. Um, I brought in uh, 76 new customers and teammates in uh, 18 months. Uh, in the past 18 months, I've generated over 3,000 leads and earned um, thousands of dollars in commissions on a monthly basis, specifically using Facebook from uh, free and paid strategies. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, I recruited two people and brought on three new coaching clients using Facebook comments in a span of four days. Um, and I'll share with you any towards the end, exactly how I did that in the actual post. Um, and I now have you know extra time. I actually quit my job in 2016 or 2015. I actually quit my job doing this full time. So now I have time to you know, travel uh, and, and focus on growing my, my arts uh, organization, my, my arts youth organization. Um, and in 18 months, you know, reached new leadership levels three times. Um, I'm a certified marketing coach, speaker, and a trainer. So life is pretty good. So I've actually, you know, uh, been able to connect with and learn from some of the top uh, uh, marketers in our space. That's me at the top left with Ray Higdon in the middle with Todd Falcone on the right with uh, uh, Mark Harbour. Actually, I actually have to change these pictures because there's no no women in these pictures. I need to get some some ladies up in here. I have some pictures with some lady uh, top earners. So I need to uh, up this uh, pic update this picture a bit, <laughs> but at the bottom there, um, that's one of the groups that uh, my nonprofit actually oversees and runs. Uh, that's me in the center at the bottom in, um, in Thailand, love traveling. Uh, on the right, that's me uh, in Cambodia. Um, but life is, you know, pretty good. I don't, no complaints here. Uh, and so here's what you're going to learn this, this evening. Right, I'm going to share with you my five-step simple formula to turn Facebook comments into loyal and, and buying customers. I'm going to share with you how to get prospects who comment to actually read and respond to your messages. I'm going to share with you, you know, how to steer the conversation in the right direction and build that like, know, and trust factor. Uh, I'm also going to share with you how to set up you know, immediate appointments to present your opportunity. Right? These are this is cool, right? When you can create a status update and get people to reach out to you, and when they reach out to you, that means they're actually are are interested in, in what you're 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 sharing, what you've talked about in your status update. That they're ready for an appointment, they're ready for a conversation, they're ready for a call, and you can pick up the phone and expose them to your opportunity right away. 
I'm also gonna share with you the number one thing you must avoid, and I, I think this is pretty accurate, but I guarantee about 90, 99% of you uh, are probably doing this one thing, and it's costing you a lot of money. So I'm gonna share with you what you should not be doing uh, on Facebook. And for some of you, I'll share with you, you know, way to work close with me uh, at the end and get some mentoring on how actually to to uh, do this, uh, you know, in your business and, and produce some results really, really fast. So this this concept that I'm sharing with you or this um, this uh, training is building on the concepts I shared in a bonus that my mentor, uh, Justice Egan, his new course, uh, Social Testimonial Profits, I just came that just came out so I'm, I'm building on the concepts on a bonus that I created for this course on how to convert Facebook comments into leads so I'm going to mention this uh, course towards the end and if you're open to it and want to check it out you can certainly do that so we should go uh, for about uh, 60 minutes this um, this evening um, but for the next 60 minutes you know I really want you to Eliminate all distractions, right? Uh, if you uh, turn off the television, uh, turn off Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, shut off your phone, uh, and pay close attention to the information I'm going to share with you uh, this evening. If you have kids, put them in front of the TV or uh, to bed, um, but definitely eliminate all distractions. You also want to go ahead and grab uh, a pen and paper to take some notes. Um, you definitely want to, uh, you know. I want you to really suspend your disbelief too, because the things I share this evening, um, you know, are simple. Um, and you may be thinking in your head, you know, um, you know, it can't be that easy. It can't be that simple. There's got to be more to it. He's not giving us all of it. There's got to be more to it. Suspend your disbelief, and and believe in what's possible. Because what I'm sharing with you this evening is absolutely possible for you. And if you take action, if you apply, you know what I share and what I teach, and you take action on it, you will see results in the next 24 hours, guaranteed. Right. And so I like engagement. So. Um, if I ask questions, definitely, you've been really good so far, uh, definitely come out in the uh, the comments, the chat box, or the comments actually, the Q&A, uh, and respond to uh, questions that I have. Uh, if you have questions, put them in the Q&A, I'll definitely get them, out, get them answered throughout the training. But definitely want you to be um, you know, present and engage with what I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, this, this evening. So wanna make sure that you're in the right place. Uh, my promise to you, actually is to uh, make sure that I cover only the most important things. I'm gonna try and move fast. Don't wanna you know, labor on a lot of points, but definitely wanna move fast and make sure that you get um, a significant amount of, of value from this training that you can go ahead and implement in the next 24 hours, okay? So I wanna make sure that you're in the right place. Um, you know, um, I wanna make sure this training is is right for you and that you're on the right training and that you um, you resonate with what I'm gonna be sharing with you this afternoon, so this evening. So if this resonates with you, then you're in the right place. If you're ready to quit your job and live life on your own terms, this training is for you. If you've, tr if you've tried marketing on Facebook, you know, posting before and after pictures, you know, asking curiosity, grabbing questions, but people, you know, aren't responding or you don't know how to move the conversation, this training is for you. If you're worried about, you know, what your sponsor and company may be teaching you and, and telling you to do, um, it, and you, you know there's a better way or you feel like the things that they're showing you just aren't producing the results that you desire, this training is for you. Um, if you uh, want to get uh, unlimited leads, uh, prospects, and new reps for your business, this training is for you. If you're tired of spinning your wheels, you know, going around in circles, doing the same thing over and over again, you know, your upline telling you, keep keep going at it, right? Your breakthrough is coming. Keep keep posting the same thing over and over again on social media. Keep copying and pasting. Your breakthrough is coming, uh, and you feel and you know that just that just isn't, isn't going to work. Um, and you're ready to have a breakthrough in your business in 2017, this training uh, is for you. If you want to sponsor more people, generate more, more money um, at will, and, and change your family's legacy forever, then this training is for you. Now, what this training is not and who it is not for. Now, be very um, straightforward here. This is not for people who want to do nothing and get paid. Right there, from what I know, 
Um, there are no push button solutions out there. And if you find one, let me know because I'll be the first one to to jump on board. But this requires work, right? It's not about cookie, being a, a cookie cutter marketer. There's no copy and paste, right? This is about marketing and building a, a legitimate business. And and my results are not typical. And why I say that because most people do nothing and earn nothing, right? There are people who jump on training after training after training after training after training and don't implement anything. And so their results will stay the same. Now I'm hoping that, you know, um, the majority of you on here this af this evening, I keep saying this afternoon for some reason, I don't know why, uh, who are on here this evening uh, will, will take what I share and go ahead and implement and get results, right? It's that simple. Take what I share, take action, get results, and you'll be not typical, all right? So can we commit to actually, let's actually need a commitment from you guys right now. Can we all commit to take action on what I share this afternoon? Just uh, type in the, the Q&A and just say, I commit. I commit to take action. I'm gonna wait for those to come in. Just type in the Q&A and say, I commit to taking action uh, after uh, this training, not directly after training, but at least tomorrow taking action, right? You got it. Got it, Laurie. Awesome. Love it. Love it. I commit. I commit. Love it. Love it. You guys are committed. Love it. Love it. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to check you out on Facebook and make sure you're committed to doing the work. Awesome. Love it. Love it. So my five step, simple step formula to turn Facebook comments into customers. Now I've invested over $10,000 in coaching courses, live events to learn the simplest, fastest way to an effective method, methods to building my business on Facebook. I took action, went through the trial and error. So you don't have to, uh, and I invested hours in terms of training to learn and refine this process. Um, and here's the five step, simple step formula to turn Facebook comments into customers. The first step is creating an engaging and compelling, a Facebook post. Tip number two, having a strong call to action. Number three, connecting with your prospects who, who respond to your comments. Four, determining their needs and desires. And five, transitioning to the phone and closing them. Right? Those are the five simple step formula to turning your comments into customers. I'll give you a few seconds to take a screenshot of them of this. Um, we're going to dive right into uh, the meat and potatoes of it all. All right. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. So before we dive into the, 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 the formula and the specific steps, I wanna give you a quick overview of Facebook because if you don't understand Facebook and, and how, I mean, clearly you know how it works, right? But the nuances and the, the power behind it, you, you, you may miss out on some cool uh, and important um, uh, techniques and strategies that can help you uh, build a profitable business. So if you didn't know, uh, Facebook has 1.86 billion monthly active users and um, they're really, they're averaging, you know, adding, um, I think it's like 70, they added 70 million new users in the last quarter of 2016, which is like an 18% increase from 2015. There's one point 083 billion daily active users, meaning that you don't need to reach everyone on Facebook, right? You don't need to market and promote to everyone. You just need a small population, you know, understanding who your audience is and reaching to reaching out to them and sharing your value and content with them. You don't need everyone, right? So if you can understand who you're trying to reach on Facebook, the the the, the possibilities are really just just endless. Um, they add 500,000 new users daily. Six new profiles are created every second. So the, the notion that Facebook is oversaturated or um, these other platforms are taking over couldn't be farther from the truth. Facebook is still king. And if you wanna build a business on online, Facebook is where you want to start. But where do most people go wrong, right? Most people go wrong with, most marketers go wrong uh, with Facebook is they treat it like an ATM. Right? They treat social media like an ATM. This is something I found today on um, online. It's not hard to find people who do things like this, but they treat it like an ATM. And you know, this guy says, want to make 500 today? I made my first 560 in 24 hours. You must watch this video today. Now, this is clearly someone who is, uh, doesn't understand marketing. Um, but you know, the reality is most people 
uh, will not respond to this. And these types of posts are self-serving, right? They're all about what I need and what I want. And consequently, no one really responds. And if they do respond, it's typically low quality people, right? It's typically people who, who are looking for some fast money. Uh, and when they don't make money in 24 hours or in a week, they're gone. So you're not building up a, a really, uh, effective or productive team because you're building up a team of people who are looking for that quick and easy buck, right? So can you relate to this? Here's some other ones, right? Um, you know, who wants to start a home-based business today for less than 200 bucks, right? These, these posts are self-serving. They're all about what I want, what I need. And you have to understand that Facebook is not about that. Why do people come to Facebook? Right. Can someone just type in the um, the Q and A and share with me, you know, what their thoughts are on why people actually come to Facebook? Like, why did you come? Why did you join Facebook in the beginning before you started a business? Before you joined your network marketing company, your direct sales company, you started uh, promoting online or whatever? Why did you come to Facebook to engage? Right to connect, to socialize, to be entertained, to connect with old friends and family. Absolutely, absolutely. And so when you understand that the, the focus of these platforms, it's inherent in, in its name, right? Social media, to be social. <laughs> then you understand how this, this uh, how marketing works on social media, but also how you can actually take those comments that you're receiving and translate that into customers and cash for your business. Um, so again, people come to Facebook to connect, to share, entertain, and when you build your social credibility, social credibility by doing these three, these three things, and you build an audience, you build people who actually like, know, and trust you, you then can invite them to consume from you and buy from you. And this is where, this is what will set you apart online as a business owner. Right. If you are doing, if you're creating content, if you're providing value, if you're providing status up updates that connect, share, and entertain, you are leaps and bound, leaps and miles ahead of, of your competition, and it allows you to connect with people in a way that they'll be open to consuming your products and buying from you. Anybody get a breakthrough um, from that? Yeah, I'm seeing a uh, gold mine, gold mine. Awesome, awesome. So let's go into step one engaging, creating engaging and compelling Facebook post. All right. So this is where we start, right? And when you create this compelling and engaging post, the first thing you must understand is that it's not about you. It is not about you. Um, the <laughs> I've heard this, uh, someone said this before. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but your prospects favorite radio station is W. Uh, W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me, right? And so when you create um, you know, status updates and, and posts, you gotta make sure that it is about your prospect, about your, your target audience, about the person you want to attract to you. So it's not about you. And so you have to, this is a sample of an ad that one of my coaching clients, or not an ad, but a post that one of my coaching clients uh, created. And yes, yeah, she talks about her, her, um, her years of experience in the network marketing industry and helping and coaching network marketers, but she's offering something of value in terms of what she can help her audience with. Now she's targeting network marketers and I'll share with you some of the results that she's gotten from this particular post, but you have to know your audience. You have to know what their pains are, what their struggles are, what their challenges are so that when you create a post and you want them to respond, you speak to those pain, struggles, and challenges, right? So for instance, for example, uh, this is one example where she talks about, you know, how to generate leads uh, on Facebook. But if you were in, you know, health and wellness, you could uh, share a post that's similar. Now, this is a very simple post, right? It could be more um, meaty in terms of benefits and, and challenges and really hit on the pains, but you can do something very simple here. You know, if you're in health and wellness or a weight loss and say, you know, if I could show you with a nice image, if I could show you, you know, how to lose 30 pounds uh, in the next 30 days, would you be open to learning more about how to do that? Comment yes below. Right, so you'll get people to respond to you. You want to speak to them, right? Speak their language. Use appealing pictures and images that will entice them to uh, respond. And 
you know, when you're doing this, uh, decide on your copy, right? Decide on what um, what you want to put in your your copy so that it's it's one it, it, it intrigues that that person to to want to connect with you and want to respond. Definitely, the image is also important. So, image and copy are the two most important things. But before you create the the post, you have to know your audience. You have to know who you want to speak to. You have to know their pains, their struggles, their challenges. You know their dreams and desires, right? Here, here's I'm thinking of this example right now. But imagine, you know, um, that you were in travel, right? And and you wanted to connect with people who um, see, uh, retirees who are afraid of, you know, um, exhausting their retirement funds, but would love to travel, right? And you have a travel product, right? Maybe you take, you know, a picture of, maybe maybe you're in the same demographic, take a picture of you and your, your partner or your spouse or whatever, and you're traveling, take a picture of you guys out somewhere in on a cruise, right? And in your status, your status up there, you can say something like, you know, I love the fact that, you know, me and my wife get to travel the world at discounted prices without, you know, having to worry about exhausting or dipping into our retirement funds. Want to see exactly how we're traveling the world at, you know, cheap prices? Comment yes below. Now, if your target audience is is on your your page, um, if they're connected with you and someone sees that, they're gonna be like, oh, I wonder how they're doing that. Let me comment yes below to get more information. So it's a great way to to attract the right people to you. And you're not dealing with people who are looking just to make a quick buck, people who are just like looking for the next hottest thing. You're getting high quality people reaching out to you. Very, very powerful stuff. So this is Karen's results, right, from this particular uh, post. Uh, she had 20 shares. Uh, I think this says 200 and what was that 39 um, reactions and 65 comments. So if you see, it says, uh, yes, 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 yes. All these people here are asking for more information. Powerful, isn't it? Do you think you can create something like this for your, for your business? A simple status update with a nice image, just saying, you know, uh, highlighting some of the benefits of what you offer, highlighting some of the, the dreams and desires of your target audience, uh, and then asking them to respond. Could you do that? I'm seeing yes, yes, absolutely. Too easy. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Now you can do this with other posts too, right? So it doesn't have to be just about you know um, your business opportunity, right? You can share when you share content, regular content on your page, whether it's you know family pictures or you're asking questions or creating curiosity, you get people to comment, right? People comment on your stuff all the time. These are, these, are, these are prime opportunities for you to start conversations with people you haven't spoken to in years. So for instance, um, I posted this uh, last, last week or a week and a half ago, and you know it's uh, me and a high school buddy and one of my board members, we're at a, a benefit for um, the arts education roundtable. And you know people are commenting, right? So what do I do? I start conversations. Right, and that's what you have to understand about Facebook, right? When you, your, your goal again is connect, engage, and socialize, right? And entertain, right? And so you have people responding, you have people commenting. Now there's an opportunity for you to start a conversation. Now you, someone's probably thinking, okay, so I start a conversation, but when do I pitch my business opportunity? We'll get there. But these are great entry points to start having those conversations and get people you haven't spoken to in years to, to reconnect with them, seeing what they're up to, and then you know discovering you know what they might be struggling with. You know maybe there's something going on in their lives that um, you know you have a solution for, whether it be a product. Maybe they're dealing with weight issues. Maybe they lost their job and looking for a way to make some extra money, or maybe they're looking for uh, uh, an opportunity to uh, leave their job so they can really pursue a passion, right? So you just never know. And these types of posts allow you to start conversations. Uh, another one I posted uh, the other day, 
uh, it was kind of, it actually relates to this webinar. Uh, just curious, uh, I'm considering hosting a training this Tuesday on how to turn Facebook comments into loyal customers and buyers. Would you attend? Right, so that image isn't of me. It's a meme I just stole, got from Google. I have a quick question. Um, and I've got quite a few comments and some reactions there. And so I responded to these people and I didn't just send them a link, right? And we'll talk about that later on, but I you know, actually engaged with them and had a conversation with them. Um, here's another one. Um, uh, just a question. What is your definition of a magnificent life? Comment below. Um, and so I have some comments going here. I have some reactions here and I'm replying to uh, these comments. You'll see that in some of the next steps that I uh, share. All right, step number two, having a strong call to action in your post, right? And so here's the reality. If you must tell people what to do, if you don't tell them what to do, they will do nothing, right? So my rule of thumb is, right, anytime, I try to do this all the time when I post, anytime I post something online, I try to think of a way that I can get people to a next step, to do something. Now, it can be very simple, and I'll share some thoughts uh, in terms of some example call to actions, but know that people just liking, loving, wowing, and ha-has, typically it won't produce any money for you, right? People just reacting to your post typically won't produce money for you. So you need to tell people exactly what you want them to do next and the people that are the highest quality will take that action. And this is the first step in starting the conversation. And so, so some examples of you know call to actions, you saw them in the previous uh, couple of uh, examples, comment yes, message me, if you have a question, you know, you say comment below, or even you can go as far as saying click here and insert a link. Now, what I wouldn't recommend doing if you're actually gonna say click here and sending them to a link, I wouldn't recommend putting a link to your company's replicated website because that is just not wise. Um, if you have something of value that you're sharing with your audience, maybe it's a, a cheat sheet, maybe it's a blog post, maybe it's an article, then, then great. Um, but I wouldn't recommend sending them directly to an order page to buy something, right? Because again, people don't come to social media to shop, they come to be entertained, uh, connect, and even be educated, right? I didn't mention that, but people come to social media to also be educated. So here's an example of a post that I did with a call to action, very simple. Um, what would you attempt, attempt to do if you knew you would not fail? Comment below. So I got some interaction, some engagement, started some conversations here. And these are people like I, I it's very interesting because you so so Lisa says, learn to play an instrument. So we talked about, you know, playing instruments, that kind of thing. Dylan says he's funny, a heist, and we spoke about some things there. Um, but I can't pronounce them Mabila. Uh, she says, resign at my workplace. So what do you think that conversation could be like? Right? When we talk, it's gonna be me trying to uncover, you know, what pains or struggles she's having at work. And it can lead, potentially lead to me sharing with her a business opportunity that can get her out of her job quickly, um, you know, through, you know, network marketing, through affiliate marketing, through some other means where she can, you know, pursue her passion and dreams. But I wouldn't have known that, Mabila, I don't even know who Mabila is actually. She just someone on my page, but I would not have known that Mabila would love to resign at her workplace if I didn't put this question out there. Right? Very, very powerful. I'm going to talk. Uh, uh, Tara's asking, do you private message all these people or engage right there in the comments? I'm going to, I'm going to share with you exactly what I do. Okay. Awesome. So step number three, and it's right here. Step number three is connect and engage with people who comment, all right? Connect and engage. So what I do is, first thing I do is reply to their comment on the thread. It's the first thing I do, right? So you may have seen I said, you know, um, just a simple reply. So I'll say, you know, it, it depends, right? So I'll say, cool, awesome, thanks for connecting, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll highlight something that they may have said, right? So I'm definitely gonna reply on their comment. The other thing, the other, the, the other cool thing or interest or great thing about doing that is that it Facebook now sees 
that people are engaging with the, this particular post, which means they're going to show it to more people. And as more people comment, more people um, react to it, more people will see the, 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 the post and you'll get more comments on the thread. So definitely the first step is replying to their th the comment on the thread. The second step is I send them a private message. Now you're probably thinking, well, what do I say in a private message? We'll talk about that as well, right? So I send them a private message. Now the goal is to start a conversation and build rapport. That's the goal. Right. There is a faster way that I'm going to share with you to to get through the, the conversation and build rapport stage. But when you're just doing these types of, of posts, you have to start a conversation and build rapport. Right. This is not the opportunity to pitch or send your link. Think about it this way. Um, if you send your link on the first message, it's kind of like you saying to someone, you know, on a first date, hey, will you marry me? Right. Kind of awkward and weird right start a conversation be human right and you're probably asking yourself in your mind like but but what do i really say what do i say right don't make it weird <laughs> very simple don't make it weird don't be weird be human right think about you know um how you would normally interact with someone in public right um be more interested than interesting. Now, what does that mean? That means you want to be more interested in interesting, interested in the other person than talking about yourself, right? Um, again, we talked about early on. You know, what are the the um, the struggles, the pains, the benefits, the desires of our audience, and you want to pull that out of your the person you're talking to. So get to know them. You know, hey, you know, so you commented on my post. I'm just curious, you know, what would you like most about it? Or, you know, I completely agree with your comment about X, Y, and Z. You know, um, have you um, have you encountered or have you read any other uh, of his other books? You were doing a book example, right? But be more interested in them than more interested in talking about yourself. Think about how you would engage with other humans at a cocktail party, right? You or a, a, a networking event. You wouldn't go to someone at a cocktail party or networking event and just automatically just throw up on them with your network marketing opportunity or business opportunity, right? You wouldn't do that. You would, well, you would, you know, um, introduce yourself, say hello. You might, you know, find some way to compliment them, right? If they have a nice jacket on or they're, you know, um, have a nice bag or they have something that you can can see that you can compliment them on, you would do that. Do the same thing on social media, right? Before you message someone, I mean, clearly we have an, an opportunity here to, or, or a reason to connect with them because they responded to our comments. But even if you didn't have something to uh, relate to based on a, a thread, right? You can go to their profile and see what they've been up to, see if there's anything of interest that you connect with, and then start a conversation that way. But the goal is to start a conversation to not be weird, but be human, okay? Um, and another um, thing I want to share is that, you know, um, you know, uh, when you're creating these these types of posts, you know, uh, there's a, a very distinct uh, and and compelling way to craft a story, and that's something that um, my mentor Justin actually shares in his. Oops, I'm going too fast. Uh, shares in his uh, his new course, uh, Social Testimonial Profits. Now, once you've once you've uh, connected with them through the thread, you sent them the introductory message, getting to, to 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 know them, to build rapport. Now you have to determine their needs and desires. Right. This is where this is where the the bulk of the work happens, right? And these conversations can take, um, you know, quite a few exchanges, right? This is not just a one, two, and done conversation, right? Um, these are pretty long conversations because you're one building a relationship with with a new person, a complete stranger. You're trying to turn them from cold to to warm and then hot, right? So you have to. There's a process, um, and once you get to the, the the middle point where you're the person is comfortable with you, they like you. They kind of like feel like you're you're um, you're a nice person. You're cool. Then you can start 
you know, um, trying to figure out, you know, what their, their needs are, what their desires are. And you do that by asking questions, right? You got to ask, asking questions will get you to uh, what they are struggling with and if they uh, really fit with what it is you have to offer uh, and, and sell. Does that make sense? You guys getting value out of this? Just comment in the, uh, the, the Q and A. Let me know that you are getting some value here, that, um, that you're still with me. Um, awesome, awesome, cool, cool. So we'll keep, keep rocking and rolling here, awesome. So discovering their needs and desires. Um, so after you've built this rapport and, and they trust you, you can then go into some, uh, some, some questions that can get them to open up, right? And here are some of the things that I, I, I typically ha have used in the past, right? Um, if they are, if we, if we've uncovered that they're struggling, let's say with, um, with weight loss, right? Um, I can say, you know, what, what are three results are you? What are three results you want to get from losing weight? You know, why do you want to lose weight, right? You know, what what, what will happen if you, you know, health wise, if you don't get these results? And so they'll start to share with you. And these are golden. This is golden information because when you come back to actually sharing with them, you know, what it is you you have to offer your products or opportunity, you can reference their desires, their dreams, their needs, their wants, their pains, and they, they, can't, they can't not join you or buy from you, right? Because they've told you, hey, you know, I, I just feel, you know, um, unattractive to my spouse, right? You know, I put on so much weight um, since the baby, and I feel like he doesn't love me anymore, right? That's deep, right? And when you when they're opening up like that and telling you exactly what they're struggling with, and you ask, you're asking these questions, right? And and you then present your opportunity. You, you say, well, you know, I, I know exactly, I know how you feel, you know, and I might have a solution um, that can help you get that, you know, uh, 21 year, 25 year old uh, body back. Are you open to, you know, checking out some information, right? So. You can use these questions to to really get them to open up and share their for them to share their pains. Now, you also want to, you know, um, add some questions that actually move that pain and desire to some of the ideal state, right? So, what will happen, you know, to your life if you get those results, right? This is actually, you know, hitting on some of the um, the positive emotions uh, in life, right? What will happen if you get those results? Who would be impacted positively by getting those results? What would it mean to you, you know, once you got those results, right? They'll be talking about, well, I, I feel, I feel, I, I feel sexy, right? I, I could feel like, you know, we can go out on dates again. Um, I feel like I could, you know, now, um, you know, run around with my my kids and not get out of breath, right? Very, very awesome and cool, cool questions that you want to ask um, your, uh, your prospect. I think I have a double slide here. Okay. And so once you ask these questions, right, and, and you get them to, to share with you their pains, their struggles, their challenges, you can simply say, from what I'm hearing, it sounds like I may have something that can assist you with blank. Are you open to taking a look? Now, this is all typically in a message, typically, right? So you're going back and forth, exchanging conversation. When, they're, when they've shared with you their struggles, their pains, their challenges, you um, can simply say, well, from what I'm hearing, it sounds like, you know, um, I, I think I have something that can assist you with achieving your, your goal of like, you know, um, generating an extra $2,500 a month so you can quit your job and spend more time with your kids. Or I might have something that can assist you with, you know, traveling, you know, the world without, you know, feeling like you are going to be a bag lady um, and, you know, exhaust your retirement, right? Are you open to taking a look, right? That's how you transition that conversation from getting their pains and struggles to actually getting them to be open to or asking if they're open to taking a look at what is you have to offer. Now, 
the number one mistake most marketers make at this point, you know, when they've gotten the person, let's, let's assume the person said yes, that they are open to checking out some information. The number one mistake most marketers make at this point is they send a link, right? They send a link. They send a link to um, a capture page. They send a link to uh, their business presentation. They uh, send a link to their website for them to sign up, right? And that's a, those are major, major mistakes. If you want to increase your conversion, increase your sales, your next step of this process is to transition them to the phone and close. Transition them to the phone and close. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, so how do I get them on the phone? <laughs> and um, um, before I get into that, I'm going to share a full disclosure with you, though. Um, so there is a, a faster way to, let me mentioned before, to move that rapport building uh, process uh, relationship building process much quicker so you don't spend like i mean you could spend several days going back and forth in conversation on facebook with someone before you get to the point where you're actually discovering their needs their pains and struggles um there is a faster way and you know with the story ad i'm going to share with you uh, when you stick around to the end this particular um type of post will help you with moving um, the process faster, especially through the rapport building uh, phase and transition, transitioning in them uh, more, uh, much faster to the phone. And that's something Justice teaches in the uh, Social Testimonial Profits, and we'll talk about that uh, shortly. But transitioning them to the phone. You want to be a professional and get them on the phone and set an appointment, right? So after you've said, you know, uh, or ask, are you open to some information? And they said, yes, here's a sample script. When can you carve out some time so I can share some information with you? All right. Now, language is very important. When, I, when you say share some information with you, um, that has a different connotation than saying, so, you can, so I can uh, send you a video or so you can watch a video presentation. Right, because then what will happen if you say, "How soon can you watch a, a video presentation?" They can say, "Okay, okay, just send it to me. I don't need to speak to you on the phone. Just send it to me." Right, but you want to be professional. Get them on the phone and set an appointment. How? When can you carve out some time so I can share some information with you? And then you give them a way out. Right, you set the appointment obviously with them, and they say some times, and you go back and forth through calendar. But you also want to give them an, an out. Right, because they are still, to some degree, they're not a hundred percent. I don't say sold, but committed. Right, so give them a way out and let them know that you're not addicted to the outcome. So you set an appointment with them, and then you say something like this as a personal courtesy: If for, for whatever reason you can't make that appointment, let me know ahead of time, so I can fill that slot. Fair. And what does that do? That gets them to commit. I guess I'm saying yes. Well, two things that does. Gets them to commit to, to doing something. So like if they're not going to make, and this is a prime example, if they're not going to be able to make the appointment, they're going to commit to letting you know, right? Then they're also saying yes, right? When you get someone to say yes, it, it gets them that, that, that good feeling of like, oh, yes, I, I feel good about doing this. I feel good about that. So prime example, I had a, a, a call scheduled yesterday with someone through one of these particular posts. And I said, you know, um, as a, a way out for them in case it wasn't a fit for them, again, not being addicted to the outcome. Like we don't, my, my philosophy is don't chase, don't convince. Um, yeah, don't chase and convince people. And so I said to him as a personal courtesy, if for whatever reason you can't make that appointment, let me know ahead of time so I can fill the, fill the slots, fair? He, um, he said, totally fair, totally understand. He messaged me, uh, texted me yesterday saying he had to stay late at work. Uh, he's, he's super apologetic um, you know, that he, he can't make the appointment. Um, he knows my time is valuable, but he, would, he doesn't want to reschedule for you know, tomorrow at five. And so we're scheduled for tomorrow at five. 
But when you get them to make a commitment, that shows one that you're professional, but again, that you, you you're not addicted to him or her joining or not joining, right? You can you're moving forward with or without them. You're just showing and sharing with him a way that he can achieve his goal. Him or her can achieve her their goals, and if they're they're ready, they'll move forward. If they're not, they won't. And once you're on the phone with them, you get them on the information, watching a video. Um, a screen share, whatever it is, and then you follow up and close. Now, when you're on the phone with them, you, I mean, depending on what you're doing in terms of how you're exposing them, and again, use the tools. Uh, if you don't, don't try to, you know, talk them on, tell them all about it over the phone, right? They're going to think that that's what they have to do, right? So get on the phone with them, get them on the information. If it's a video on the computer, you know, make sure they're in front of the computer, Tell them to go to this website. Do you see this? Awesome. Press play. Press pause. Cool. Let it buffer. Cool. I'm gonna call you back in in 20 minutes, um, uh, and we'll we'll chat chat then. Let them watch the video. You know, exactly at 20 minutes, you call them back. Follow up. Would you like most about Would you like most about what you saw? Ready to get started? Close them. Very simple. Any questions about that? Does that all make sense? Yes, yes. Cool beans, cool beans. Awesome. So now you're probably thinking, what do I, what to do if they don't mess, respond to my message, right? What if you send, you know, the message about any messages, right? It could be, you know, uh, are you open to taking a look or let's carve out some time? What if they don't respond to your messages at all? Right, what do you do? And I typically do one thing. I send them one message. Now, what most people will do is they'll go back and forth with this like, hey, 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 how are you? Hey, how's it going? How's your day? How's the weather? How are the kids? Right? You you're not really getting to the the meat of why you're we're reaching out to them again. And so if they don't respond, um, to my message, um, and we've had an exchange, we have rapport built, um, and I share with them uh, something that could potentially help them achieve their goal, I'll send a message like this. Simple message and a takeaway. Hey, just reaching out because when we last spoke, you were looking for blank. Whatever their desired, uh, desire was, I put that in there. Not sure if you're still open to it, but just the FYI, this is my last round of reaching out to people, so I'll take you off my list if I don't hear from you. Simple as that. I do the same thing with voice with with um, with voicemail and messages too, right? But when if someone you know had a pain, struggle, or challenge, and you offered a solution, and um, they didn't respond, or they were open to it and didn't respond, um, you're gonna send them a message and take it away. Nine times out of ten, more likely they'll respond. They will respond. Now, if they don't reply at all, move on. You've got more people to connect with and, and more people to impact. Right? Remember that first slide where the slide where I talked about the Facebook stats? One point what eight billion people on Facebook. You got plenty of people to talk to. And especially if you're using the strategy um, that I'm outlining here with the post. And you're getting, you know, people to engage. You're getting, you know, comments. One person not responding to you is not the end of the world, right? If you can have, you can have five people, five at, at bare minimum, five people reaching out to you on a daily basis, saying they want more information, they want to connect with you, and I'll share with you how to do that with the story ad uh, that Justice teaches in his course. But if you can have five people reaching out to you daily. If one of those people don't respond, you got four people to talk to today, and then five more tomorrow, and then five more the next day, right? So don't don't be hung up on on that one person who didn't reply to your message, right? Send them that, send them the the, the simple takeaway message. If they don't re reply, move on. More people to impact, more people to connect with. Has this been helpful so far?
we got a lot more to talk about, but ha has this been helpful so, so far? I'm seeing yes, yes, lots to implement, cool, cool. Taking massive action, got lots of notes. Awesome, awesome, love it, love it, love it. So by now you see how valuable, useful, and profitable Facebook can be for your business, especially if you can convert comments into customers. So I'm just curious, how would your business be different if you could trade that, that morning latte, right, that coffee that you have in the morning, for five red hot prospects every day while also bypassing the often time consuming rapport building process. And I mentioned that, you know, the process that I shared out at the outline at the beginning about, you know, getting people um, to comment on your post uh, and, and then going through the, the rapport building, the relationship building, you know, the multiple messages back and forth, that absolutely works, but it does take time. But how would it be, how would your business be different if you could do that uh, in faster, in a, in a faster time, right? Be awesome, amazing, cool. What would it feel like if you rank advanced or hit personal highs within the next 30 days, exerting the same or even less effort than you're currently doing? Amazing, awesome, sweet, sweet. So this is how explosive growth, awesome, awesome. This is how I've generated thousands of dollars monthly, generating five to 10 leads a day, and in four days, sponsoring two people and bringing on three new coaching clients all using Facebook. Now, no doesn't require, you know, setting you setting up, you know, home or hotel meetings, you know, no longer handling like lame objections, um, no blogging or content creation required, just a steady stream of predictable stream of prospects coming your way every single day using the strategy I'm, I'm going to share with you today. While you're at work, spending time with your friends and family, or even sleeping. So just curious, what would life look like from now if you had five people reaching out to you every single day and you were able to convert those comments into cash business builders uh, and, and, and signups? So I'm not sure why you're here this evening. I'm seeing awesome, amazing, great, awesome, awesome, sweet. So I'm not sure why you're here this evening. Um, you know, I definitely uh, know there are some people who jump on webinars over and over again to get information. Again, they don't implement, but I'm hoping that you are um, uh, an action taker and will go out there and, and get uh, the results that you can absolutely get with the strategy, right? You've seen how simple and easy it is and how, um, you know, Karen and some other folks have done it. Um, and here are just some more testimonials about people that are doing some great things with my coaching and help. So Greg Martin, uh, he sent me this the other day. Uh, in less than 24 hours, he had nine leads uh, using Facebook paid ads for 61 cents a lead. Shamar had five signups this month, um, best month ever because of my coaching. Lori, she's on tonight. Uh, she's an awesome, awesome rock star. I uh, just want to say thank you for all your mentoring over the past couple of weeks. I'm starting to find my groove, and I'm starting to see results on the topics we discussed and the tips that you shared. Thank you for all your help. I greatly appreciate it. Luann and Albert, you know, struggling with Facebook ads, got some help from me. Um, now they're getting uh, their boost posts seen by people. Wes, 22 leads for $1.06 uh, with, ad, ad, with Facebook paid ads. Um, before we get to Q&A, I did want to share with you the story ad that I actually uh, created um, after going through this course I'm going to share with you um, that helped me to get uh, or not help me to get, but were the reason why I sponsored uh, two people and, and brought on three new coaching clients. Again, it's uh, Social Testimonial Profits. It's the fastest and easiest way to get leads today for any business or industry without blogging, videos, without prospecting, without, without slaving over content, and even without a website. You can follow along um, at antoniorthompson.com forward slash justice to check it out. But here's the... Um, the uh, story ad that I created, uh, basically um, I'm sharing with people, it's a long story, and it, it surprised me that uh, so many people actually read the full uh, post. It was like a dissertation. Uh, but I'm basically talking about, and it's what, it goes back to actually knowing your target audience and your market and their, their pains, their struggles, their challenges, but I talked about my first year network marketing, or, you know, how I 
would come home after a full uh, day of work um, and spend another four hours, you know, uh, making phone calls to my list of 100 friends and family, all of whom would say no uh, or say things like, I'll wait and see how you do first. Um, you know, talk about copying and pasting the same messages over and over again uh, to everyone on social media and being called a spammer and being thrown in the Facebook slammer. Um, I talk about all the pains and struggles that I know my audience uh, will relate to. And so with that, you know, I generate, I got, you know, about 289 reactions, but 49 comments of people saying they wanted to learn more about the training platform that I was using to learn how to market online. And so here are the results, right? So more info, please, more info, more info, please, more info, more info, more info. And 48 people asking for more info, one of which was a, a six-figure um, top earner in a company uh, who reached out and wanted one-on-one -on -one coaching. Powerful stuff. So you can do this. You can learn how to do this and implement this in your business and get people reaching out to you. And what this does is because they're reading a story uh, and you're hitting on some of the pain points and you provide a solution for them, there's less um, rapport building necessary when you when you start the, the, the private message, right? The private message is, is a much straightforward conversation. You're basically jumping right into the um, the, the need and desires of, of your, your person you're talking to, right? You're asking them, hey, I saw you commented on my post. Just curious, what, 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 what intrigued you about my post? What are you currently working on? What are you struggling with in your business, right? So that jumps the gun and gets them right into the desire and needs, and then you can go and offer a solution. So here's some information about the course. Um, module one, um, basically it's your, your perfect prospect play, playbook. This is where you're actually going to sit down and figure out who it is that you want to reach online. Who's your target market? Who's your audience, right? Who, if you don't understand your audience, um, that's gonna be a major, major problem um, in your business moving forward in general. So this one is actually understanding that perfect prospect. Then we talk about how to create uh, the perfect story or the uh, a, a, a incredible, um, hypnotic, um, exciting story that's going to get people to respond. Um, make sure you have the the uh, the benefits, the features um, that are going to get your prospects to actually take action. Um, module three is about developing testimonials. Now, this is the key thing about these stories. It doesn't have to be about you. Right. Oftentimes when you begin in the industry, you can leverage other people's stories uh, and, and use them to get people to come to connect with you and, and reach out to you and respond to your, your post. So you can use these testimonials of other people to get activity and action going on your page. Module four is all about how to craft, you know, um, the, the post and your ad to maximize it. Um, you know, and then you have these other bonuses that he offers, um, basically ultimate avatar work street, which, which is really about getting um, to the pains and desires of that target audience, right? This, this worksheet, is got, it's, it's a very in-depth worksheet where you're putting down, you know, where your audience hangs out, um, what kinds of books and magazines do they read, um, what are their biggest pain, struggles, and challenges, what keeps them up at night. Now, oftentimes people, marketers hit on the, the surface level problems, right? Oh, they need more leads. Oh, they want to lose more weight. Oh, they want to travel. Oh, they want better finances. But those are all surface level problems. When you dig deep into those emotional problems, then you can really grab people, right? If you're talking about losing weight, why do you want to lose weight? Well, I mentioned before, maybe the person doesn't feel attractive to their spouse anymore. Maybe they they can't keep up with their children um, because they're just you know so overweight, right? Or or maybe they have they're traveling. Maybe they have this deep down fear of of outliving their money and becoming uh, a homeless um, bag lady, right? These are the deep down problems that will get your audience to respond. Um, the 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 medal winning story swipes. These are you know some of the uh, most successful. Uh, stories that uh, my buddy Justice have created, and you get access to them to check them out. These stories have, you know, made him tens of thousands of dollars in just a few months. So you can definitely um, model them. Um, the story at Cheat Sheet basically is going to help you craft that story, um, focusing on 
you know, closing the prospects that come your way and cashing, uh, cashing checks. Just cheat sheet saves a lot of time, um, and and helps you to avoid the biggest mistakes that you know cause causes people to to fail. Um, power words. This is awesome. Um, you're gonna get uh, uh, basically a list of all the uh, most powerful and impactful. Uh, power words that get people to take action. It allows you to stand out from the noise and grab the attention of your prospects. Um, fill in the blank power statements. This is a foolproof uh, fill in the blank copyright um, copywriting um, uh, template. Um, this basically uh, is impactful statements about your product service opportunity that guarantee your prospects will take immediate action. So you're probably thinking, what's the price of this course? Uh, as I mentioned before, I've invested over $10,000 in coaching courses and events. Uh, others have paid me hundreds of dollars just to get my help with Facebook marketing. And there are inferior products and trainings that cost, you know, $1,000 plus. You can even get a degree in online marketing. Um, so here's a breakdown of what you get. Module one, your perfect prospect playbook, $297 value. A storytelling secrets, $247 value. A testimonial deployment, a $397 value. Profit maximizer blueprint, that's $347 value. The ultimate avatar work street, $47 value. Metal winning story swipe, $97 value. Story ad cheat sheet, $47 value. Ultimate list of power words, $27 value. Uh, a power statement is $47 value, total value $1,553. Now, would it be worth $1,550 if you forever had just five high quality prospects per week to talk to? Would it be worth $1,550 if you know, it helped you predictably make an extra one to two sales per week for good? What if you were able to scale up and even five times, even 10x your initial results? Would it be worth $1,000? $553. Well, here's everything you get. Total value, $1,553. Here's the good news. It is not going to cost you $1,553. Not even going to cost you $1,000. Not even going to cost you $500. When you make the investment today, a uh, special price, three, uh, three payments of $117, or you can save Fifty-four bucks and one payment of two ninety-seven. Here's the deal, though: the cart on this actually closes tonight. It closes at eleven fifty-nine Pacific Standard Time. So this will be your last opportunity to grab this at this price of two ninety-seven. It's one hundred percent risk-free. So if you in thirty days, uh, in thirty days, if you feel like you don't, you haven't gotten the value, you don't see the benefit at all, um, just contact support. And they will give you your $297 back, $297 back, no questions asked. You're also going to get um, story, these are bonuses that were also included. The story review bolt. This is uh, 10 videos that uh, Justin act, Justice actually hosted where he went through a student's stories, breaking them down line by line and explaining exactly how to make each section shine and get the best possible results. A $297 value. Get his copywriting clinic. Um, you know, you got to have um this skill but right? there's no more value skill than learn how to, learning how to persuade people with your words this uh copywriting clinic um will help you stand out um and quickly become a skilled persuader with every word you write online from here on out uh, live stream profits this is facebook live you know training i uh, will, will uh jump start you and help you become light years ahead of your competition when it comes to facebook live um Video Ad Mastery, uh, Mark Harbour is actually going to do a live training where he's going to share with you how to build rapport using uh, video marketing uh, and reaching more people to get more leads uh, and cash flow into your home business. Messenger Recruiting Secrets, this is John Milton. Uh, he's built a six-figure business solely based on using Messenger. Um, and so he's going to share with you exactly what he does and how to turn your, um, your uh, people you talk to a messenger into signups, um, $97 value. This is a bonus that I did, um, basically some of the training that you got this afternoon, this evening, how to turn comments into customers. Um, you know, if you, if you can get, if you're getting comments on your page, you know, this strategy helps you get prospects, um, to actually uh, read your personal message, respond to your messages and steering them in the right direction. Uh, so you can actually solve their problems and offer a solution. This has a $97 value. 
you get the social testimonial profits Facebook group, uh, a lively community. Um, there's over, I think, 600 people in that group right now. Um, get questions answered. You know, get uh, find an accountability partner to help, an accountability partner to help you um, and keep you accountable throughout this course. This has a $197 value, and you also get a mega bonus, which is uh, uh, Justice's Cash on Webinars. Um, you know, course. Uh, webinars are extremely, extremely powerful. They're probably the most profitable um, marketing strategy out there. You can make a lot of money on webinars. Um, but this course will walk you through exactly how to craft your webinars and teach you everything you need to know about doing webinars. And this is a $297 value. So everything you get on top of what I just shared with you before, Story Review Vault, $297 value, Copywriting Clinic, $97 value, Live Stream Profits, a $197 value, Video Ads Mastery, a $197 value, Messenger Recruiting Secrets, $97 value, Turn Comments into Customers, a $97 value, Social Testimonial Profits Facebook Group, a $197 value, and Cash in on Webinars, a $297 value. Now, total value is $3,029. You get it when you make the investment today of one, three payments of 117 or one payment of 297, where you'll save 54 bucks. Again, this is only available at this price until uh, midnight or 11.59 Pacific Standard Time when you go to antoniorthompson.com forward slash justice. And we got some more bonuses. I've got some fast action bonuses. So the first three buyers um, by 11.59 will get Gary Vaynerchuk's new book, Ask Gary V. Uh, a very awesome, awesome book. I've got three copies that I'm going to give away. So grab your, um, make the investment today and, uh, you know, grab your, uh, your course and you'll get, uh, uh, this book if you're one of the three first three buyers and the first five buyers will get two 30 minute coaching sessions with me. That's a $147 value. When you go to antoniorthompson.com forward slash justice, again, you're, you're a uh, protected or uh, by uh, the 30 day 30 day money back guarantee. So if you feel like you this course isn't of value, the bonuses aren't all they're cracked up to be, let support know and they will give you your money back. Here's some testimonials from folks that have gone through a beta course of uh, the beta version of this course, um, getting tons of results. Um, you know, uh, hands down one of the best courses uh, that folks have have gone through. And so um, I'm opening up for Q and A. If you have questions, definitely come out in the Q and A and let me know, and I will answer them. Um, but definitely go over to AntonioRThompson.com uh, forward slash justice and, and grab Social Testimonial Profits. It's an amazing, awesome course, um, and with all the bonuses, um, it's it's kind of like a no brainer. Um, but yeah, definitely stick around for some questions. Definitely come out in the Q and A. Uh, drop them in the Q&A and I will uh, answer them. Uh, I want to say thank you before um, folks start hopping off. Uh, I'm truly grateful for you all spending your evening with me. I know I don't, don't take it very like, uh, lightly. You could have been doing a number of different things this evening, but you decided to spend your time with me and I'm, I'm great, greatly appreciative of that. Um, but if you do have questions, definitely uh, come out and, and say, oh, it's what, a drop in the comments or a Q and A, and I'll get those answered. All right. Yes. Yeah, so the bonuses are um, the fast action bonuses. Questions: What are the fast action bonuses again? Um, two fast action bonuses are the Ask Gary V book. I have three of those um, to give away, and. Um, uh, coaching session, two 30-minute coaching sessions for the first five people. Uh, let's see. Go to the questions. Cool. Yes, the replay will be up uh, within the next hour or so, I would say. Um, well, let me, let me rephrase that. <laughs> It'll be up by tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'll send it out via email uh, to the list uh, to the attendees. So you have that. Um, I do have to process it and edit it a bit, but we'll get that out to you uh, as soon as I can. Um, any other questions? Let me go back. 
All right, not seeing any questions coming in. All right, so yeah, so the replay will be up very shortly. Um, I'll definitely send out a message when that is available. I'm gonna redirect you all to uh, the, the page, uh, Justice's page. Have an awesome, amazing night, and I'll see you in the next one. Please feel free to connect, connect with me on Facebook. Uh, if you do have questions, I'm definitely, um, will be around if you have questions about anything, or email me, either or. Um, definitely available, okay? Have a great evening, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.